I've always thought like, oh my gosh, when you go to space, like you don't have to grocery shop for like six months. I think it's gonna actually put me on a schedule for eating. I am horrible at eating at all hours of the night. I miss lunch. Uh, we're also talking about like beverages. Like we can probably only drink powdered beverages or water. So nothing, no sodas. No sodas. Nothing carbonated. No, no, yeah, no <laughs> just. I think it'll be a little bit more healthy than what I normally eat. Plus I get to eat everything with tortillas and I'm from yeah. San Antonio, so. <laughs> I will say we are doing this over a holiday weekend. We have huge barbecues and yeah. lots of great food. So I think I I'm going to want to eat some really good ribs and, you know, and like fajitas. snacks. Solemnly swear to eat all of the astronaut food and not cheat. Never. Never. We're in this together. So if we feel Never, weak, ever, ever. we'll text each other. Maybe this. <laughs> we chose seven days out of the standard menu. You're going to have uh, a protein, some carb, some fruit. The other large category of products that we have are thermostabilized products. As which is a, sort of like a military ration that we don't have to uh, refrigerate uh, to keep fresh. Can't do them in a microwave. I was going to say, it foil. looks like something that can't go in a microwave, but I was going to ask because I didn't want to find that out the hard way. Yeah. Um, we also have rehydratable food, which is this type in a vacuum pack where we have to add water, either hot or cold. We're going to give you a syringe. Oh. I don't um, like needles. And, and it comes with a needle. So this is you how you would rehydrate. Okay. I don't think we would want to have that laying around our office. Can I it. take that to airport security? Yeah. <laughs> it is the day before we start the food challenge, and I just went to go pick up all the materials from our wonderful food lab. So they're all packaged and in my trunk. I asked them what I should eat as my last uh, real meal, and they said something fresh, maybe a salad. The problem is I was thinking nachos, so... As I suspected, I wouldn't have time to eat in the airport. I'm probably going to grab something to eat on the fly. Hopefully there's some tacos. So like I said, I was debating healthy or, uh, you know, not healthy. Of course, uh, I chose nachos. I did end up picking up some tacos, some shrimp tacos actually, with some rice and some beans. Um, I told you I love tacos. I think it's important to always choose nachos, so I'm gonna call this hashtag she chose nachos. She chose nachos, he chose tacos. So I have beef and mushrooms, rice pilaf, tomato and artichokes, and a wheat flatbread. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I have grilled chicken, mac and cheese, vegetarian chili. We're in Texas, come on. <laughs> Cran apple dessert. Oh man, I already, remember she told us to tear it so there's no extra pieces of trash. Oh, so like if we were in space, so this like would this. all be floating around. In yeah. There. Once we open those packages, the food is what we consider to be liberated and it can just float anywhere. And sometimes you find yourself using your spoon or your mouth to, to chase around the food and make sure you get it all in your mouth instead of stuck against the wall or somebody's face. Let's heat up a bowl of water and set these green That's ones in there. Idea. Yeah. And it looks like it's getting to be the right consistency. Yeah. yeah. We might have not done hot enough water too. That might be why it's not absorbing like sure. all the way. Okay, oh, okay. Well. this is good. <laughs> this is interesting. <laughs> it's not bad. Wait a minute, what was this? This oh, is good. good. Yeah, the artichokes and tomatoes mm -hmm. are good too. Should I try and eat it like this? Yeah. Ooh. You should have just got straws. I could have been like. Right. This is making my day. Like, this is a treat. I have cran apple dessert. This would remind me of home. Yum. So it's been a long day, but I did not get hungry at all. I had my butterscotch pudding as part one of my snack. I was wondering if the workouts would be hard. They're pretty much the same. I feel really high energy and I didn't even have coffee this morning. I'm actually really excited about this chicken corn and bean. This potato medley actually looks like some potatoes with spices and melted cheese on it. I'm very excited to get some melted cheese texture up in here. Little butter cookies look really delicious and super bougie. So you'll see I have um, some Caribbean chicken, pesto pasta with some corn, tortillas, vanilla pudding, and some pears. I got a little bit better at actually making the space food today, but I punctured the, the actual corn. I cut through it, so I had to rehydrate it through the side. Um, so lesson learned, this smells absolutely 
delicious. It's my boyfriend's last day at his old job, so one of his favorite clients brought him these delicious, huge looking cupcakes, so none for me. Ooh. <laughs> Do you see that? This is science, y'all. So be a nurse now. I get <laughs> My mom would be proud. Like, mom, I'm doing nurse things today. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, okay. This looks like oatmeal. Do PR for NASA, they said. It'd be fun. <laughs> What are you having for lunch? What's your, your main? I have citrus salad, and then my main thing is fiesta chicken. Ooh, I love fiesta. Yeah, and rice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, rice with butter. And so tacos. I'm really excited because I think our food's going to be warmer today. I, I agree. I think we did this right with some practice yesterday. <laughs> this is some smoked turkey. It's like, <laughs> it smells funky. <laughs> Some cornbread dressing. And then some cauliflower. I'm not a fan of this. Um. Today we're eating in the LBJ room. So President LBJ um, is who Johnson Space Center is named after. We should do a toast. Oh, we should. Johnson. Go LBJ. Woo! Woo. <laughs> oh, mine's closed. <laughs> and so here we go. Mmm, this is really good. This is the, the chicken noodles. Let's try some of this green bean. Oh, that could use some hot sauce. The lentil soup. Oh, it's hot. Oh, hot. See, um, these are actually my tortillas. Astronauts on board the International Space Station can actually eat tortillas. And it's one of the things that they like to do because you can pretty much grab anything that's floating in space with them. Two quick miscellaneous notes. I've been living a really scheduled life and waking up early and going to bed early because I've been having to wake up with enough time to make breakfast. And then I go to bed shortly after dinner just so I don't get hungry again. I think Dan has a burrito. <laughs> oh, I yeah. am jealous right now. I went for pink. And queso. Oh. Apples, fresh fruit. Which may or may not be organic. My <laughs> snack was chicken in a pouch, so. <laughs> Mine was tuna in yeah. a pouch. <laughs> there you go. Lemon curd cake. Oh, it's kind of like your rice. <laughs> <laughs> Let's <laughs> <laughs> just at the mall and whew, that was a week time because all of my friends I got some really good appetizers and when you're just all sitting around the table together it's I had to really stop myself a couple times to not mindlessly uh, reach for some of their chips or pretzels. What are you eating? Um, a cupcake. And what is Isidro eating? Space chocolate. Space chocolate. Yeah. How do you feel about the astronaut candy? Can you tell which one is the space food and which one is our regular Easter meal here? Hey guys, what are y'all making? Astronaut burgers. My family gets to eat this delicious grilled food and I get to eat a kind of brisket, a space brisket and baked barbecue beans. So we'll see how that ends up being. <laughs> see this? Oh, it's coming apart. Oh no! no. Oh, is it okay Save the meat! It's Monday, so we're done at Wednesday morning. We're really ready to be done. The weekend was hard. I was not able to eat any of the food that I was at the festival. Um, I, there were some jalapeno corn dogs, and I'm like, that sounds so good. What is life right, right now? I, I can't even. <laughs> and we have curry chicken, green beans, and potatoes. The potatoes have been iffy, but these look better than some of the ones. Mm -hmm. Cream of mushroom soup. Oh. A little bit of India, a little bit of Texas with this countryness. I'm so ready for this to be over. Yeah, we're ready. We're I need my social life back. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just. I'm having milk today. Powdered milk. Ah! We're nervous about the guests or the milk. I'm more nervous about the milk, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but something that I noticed while we've been eating this food is you have to have it really hot. On the space station, we put it in a kind of a, it's almost like an easy bake oven. Okay. Where you just, okay. and that does make a really big difference. So, <laughs> I gotta admit, when I was making lunch this morning, I wasn't thinking this was gonna be on camera. <laughs> Leftover rice, some turkey. Some but it's uh, home cooked. It's definitely home cooked. <laughs> yeah, I was a big fan of the garlic paste. Garlic paste. That can fix anything. Okay, question. Can you chew gum in space? Yes. Okay, because okay. mm -hmm. garlic, you know, bad breath. <laughs> I wasn't trying to impress any of my crew members. We would use what we call food glue. 
something. Oh, we'll just make, make up something. <laughs> Spray some olive oil in there to try to get everything to stick together a little bit. Yes. Or like I said, the garlic paste worked well for me. <laughs> what? When you get a few people with rice in their eye, then after that, you figure something out. <laughs> You know, it's a lot easier in space because we don't have to load the syringe. Like if you were trying to measure out 250 milliliters of water or 100 milliliters of water, we literally just dial that number mm. and then press the button for hot or cold water. Mm. So talk to me about tacos in space. Tortillas, are they great to have up there? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it just floated on this plate. <laughs> Gosh, if we had salsa, we did have salsa sometimes. You could put that on there. The salsa will stick to the bread. You can use the salsa for other things to stick to the salsa. I'm from San Antonio, and I love tacos. So I told everyone I would make a space a taco. taco. Yeah. So it's a little bit leaky, it extra moist. It happen in space. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't drip off the edges, it just makes a bubble. Gotta do the taco tilt because <laughs> everybody knows. This <laughs> is good stuff. That's awesome. This was the Mexican scrambled eggs food lab. They know what they're doing. We got some scientists back there. So is there anything that you... Ooh, we did it! Way better than the LBJ toast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite meal, I actually really liked a lot of the breakfast food. Um, and the shrimp cocktail was in fact very good. Ooh, shrimp cocktail. But the scrambled eggs in a taco? <laughs> Ugh, man, sorry. <laughs> Done. And maybe if I had a machine to kind of heat everything up. If I was sealed away from the outside world and I didn't have all those temptations, <laughs> maybe. Maybe if the food was floating around me, but I don't think I would otherwise. We maybe could do that. if I were an astronaut. <laughs> so I was debating, uh, this is the same debate I started with, <laughs> nachos or a salad. Let's get them both. I'll get both. I, I mean, should get listen, both. at this point, yeah. I think we need to treat ourselves. Oh, for sure. But I can tell you, I really want some coffee. Yeah. <laughs> some nice, Regular coffee. hot coffee. Like Not a latte. I, I, I gotta get some coffee. And a soda. Yeah. <laughs> this is not easy, y'all. I'm telling you.